Running Enterprise Edition Virtual Machine Image using Microsoft Hyper-V on Windows 10. Enable Hyper-V. Go to the Control Panel. Open the Programs section. Click Turn Windows Features on or off. Check the Hyper-V box and click OK. You will need to reboot your computer to apply the changes. Press Restart now. Launch Hyper-V Manager. After the reboot, go to the Control Panel, System and Security, Administrative Tools, and double-click the Hyper-V Manager to launch it. Create a Virtual Network Adapter. In the Hyper-V Manager, select your computer name on the left panel. On the Actions panel, Click the Virtual Switch Manager item. The Create Virtual Switch dialog opens. Make sure the External option is selected. Click the Create Virtual Switch button. Change the switch name if necessary, then select your physical computer network adapter from the drop-down list. Click OK to apply the changes. Download the Enterprise Edition image. On the OnlyOffice.com website, go to the Pricing Server. Scroll the page down and click this button. Choose the image for Hyper-V and press Download. When the image is downloaded, go to the Downloads folder and extract the files from the archive. Create a new virtual machine. In the Hyper-V Manager, Right-click on your computer name, select New Virtual Machine. The new virtual machine wizard opens. On the Specify Name and Location page, name your machine as you wish. On the Assign Memory page, specify at least 4 GB of memory. On the Configure Networking page, choose the switch you created when you installed Hyper-V. On the Connect Virtual Hard Disk page, select the Use an Existing Virtual Hard Disk radio button. Click Browse and select the Unpacked Enterprise Edition file. Review the Summary page and click Finish. Run Enterprise Edition. Right-click the name of the virtual machine, then click Connect. In the Virtual Machine Connection window, Click Start. When the virtual machine with Ubuntu is booted, you will be asked for access credentials. Enter OnlyOffice as your login and OnlyOffice as your password. After that, you will be asked to arrange the password. Enter your existing password, OnlyOffice, first. Then specify your own password and retype it. Adjust Network Settings. Open the forward slash etc forward slash network forward slash interfaces file in a text editor. Your network interface is currently set for using DHCP. Replace the DHCP value with the static one and add other network parameters such as IP address, net mask, default gateway, DNS name servers, Save the changes. Restart your virtual machine. Set up your portal. Open a browser and enter the IP address that you've specified at the previous step. On your portal welcome page, specify the password and email you want to use to access the portal. Click this button to upload your license key stored on your computer. Accept the license agreement terms. Save the settings. That's all. Now you can start working on your portal.